Have you ever woken up in the morning and said, man, I just want the official cocktail of Malaysia? I know, it happens to me almost every morning. I don't have a problem, I swear. But uh, we're gonna make today on Cocktail Corner is the Jungle Bird. Now, I am gonna use one of my favorite rum distilleries, Happy Raptor, shout out to you guys again. And I was gonna wait a little while because you know, I don't wanna use the same stuff over and over again every episode, but my fiance today really wanted a Jungle Bird, so I figured, I'll make a video about it. So on this video today on the Jungle Bird, we are going to be making it for two. So all you have to do is just cut the doses in half. I'll put the recipe for a single one, but I'm gonna make a double so that way her and I can enjoy a nice cocktail. Do you like pineapple juice? Do you like rum? Well, do I have the drink for you. A Jungle Bird. Now again, just a quick reminder that I am making a Jungle Bird for two. So uh, all you have to do is just cut a lot of these ingredients in half. I'll put the ingredients for a uh, for a one Jungle Bird in the description below. Just go check it out and check out great things that we have in the description below. So first things first, we're gonna do three our, we're gonna do three ounces of dark rum. And this is look how beautiful this hibiscus rum is. Uh, these real hibiscus leaves, and I really love it in this cocktail right here. And so we're gonna do three ounces. Normally you do an ounce and a half, but we're doing three ounces because we're, again, making it for two. All right, so now it comes for three fourths of, so of Campari, or we're gonna use actually our aperitivo, our patient's aperitivo, because that's what I have. And uh, if you like Campari, use Campari. Uh, but this is what I'm gonna use, and essentially it's gonna be three fourths of an ounce. So for us, it's gonna be about an ounce and a half. Woo. So let's, there we go, we're gonna, boom, look at that. And this is gonna be a really like pink drink. It's gonna be very uh, pink. And we can get maybe a nice little, boom. Oh, a little bit more. It's gonna add a nice little citrus to it and also a nice little bitterness to the drink that makes it really shine. Cause we are gonna be putting in a lot of pineapple juice, <laughs> a lot of pineapple juice. So in fact, I'm gonna put in three ounces, but it's going to be an ounce and a half of pineapple juice, which if you've ever had pineapple juice, which I'm sure you lucky viewers have, is a lot. So this is some freshly squeezed pineapple juice for you guys. And let's knock it in the bag. Boom. All right, look at that. Now we're about to gonna have a half an ounce of lime juice, freshly squeezed lime juice. Normally you would do a half an ounce. I know I keep reminding, but I don't wanna say like the single measurements and that people will be like, oh, what are you doing? Even though I'm sure people are like, what are you doing? So some freshly squeezed lime juice right there. And just to top it all off, we are gonna put um, half an ounce to an ounce of simple. Now this is some simple I made earlier today. Oh, cheese and peats. <laughs> well, there's a nice pour shot <laughs> of me putting simple all over the bar. Yep, I got a little crazy. All right, now let's get our ice cube into the glass. So I'm gonna do one big cube and we're gonna do one cracked cube. Let's see if I can, if I can get this. One nice cracked cube. And all right, and let's shake her up. All right, let's give her a shake. All right. Boom. Gotta have a nice smile on. We're having the Jungle Bird, the official drink of Malaysia. Look at that. And it's gonna have a nice, like, look at that nice little frothy. I don't know if I, let's see if I get in the camera. Look at that nice little frothiness. Oh, it smells amazing. Let's get to that pour shot. But before we do that, I do want to uh, remind you that down below is some awesome Gnome's Tavern gear. And make sure you go check that out. And also check out our other videos as we have to get to. Okay, I only have two feathers. So this is my uh, garnish. It's supposed to be a bird. So let's see if uh, we can get it to work out and do that awesome pour shot. 
All right, so now we got our our jungle bird right here. The rare, <laughs> I don't even know what you would call that guy. The rare bug-eyed pineapple. All right, so let's actually, oh, look at that. That's a nice, beautiful red. Now, probably if you do the dark rum, it probably won't be that kind of red because a lot of my stuff is very red. So then we're going to put his, the nice little leaves. Now make sure you wash these because they do have a nice little griminess on them. So make sure you do wash those. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is a nice jungle bird. Look at that. This is actually one of my favorite rum drinks. And that's why I really like the hibiscus rum really adds a lot to it. But even with the dark rum, it's really amazing. Now, my fiance isn't just like any old fiance. She wants a little extravaganza. She wants a little pizzazz. So you know what we got for her, her cup? A big old pineapple. And we're gonna pour the rest of this into the pineapple with her. Oh yeah. Woohoohoo, perfect. And then we're gonna garnish with this little, oh, I just lost a raspberry. We're gonna garnish with this perfect little thing into there. And we'll give her a nice straw, cause uh, she probably doesn't wanna put her lips to that. And that is a perfect pineapple. So let's get to the tasting. Now to the tasting. So we got our drink right here. We got our nice little pineapple. Let's get the, look at that. <laughs> I wanted to get three and then I totally forgot. So, you know, we're still learning. We're still a, a pretty new cocktail YouTuber, but that's pretty cool. And then we got our little dude. Let's see. All right. Let's see if we do a good job. Oh, I love, I love this cocktail. This cocktail is, has pretty much is so well-rounded. It's got a little bit of everything. You know, you got that sweetness with the pineapple and all of that. And then the aperitivos also adds a nice little bitterness to it. And it's just such a nice combination. It's really just like, I feel like I'm in, I'm getting ready to go on the beach or on a boat, or I'm looking at tropical birds in, in Malaysia. Yes, this is my first take of this. <laughs> But uh, no, this is apparently, this is really good. I maybe would cut back a little bit. If you're using the hibiscus rum, I will say maybe cut a little bit back on the aperitivo uh, because it's a, you know, you're getting a lot of those flavors. So maybe instead of a three fourths of an ounce, you might want to do a half an ounce if you were using the hibiscus rum from Happy Raptor. But maybe if you're doing a darker rum, that's something you can adjust to. But it is really good. My little bird babe, Brad, I'm sorry, I'm drinking your body, it's okay. That came out really weird. But don't forget guys to make sure that you uh, like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so that way you can get their latest cocktails and all of that here. Now, I wonder if uh, we might have a surprise footage for people on my Discord. You can join the Discord at the bottom. Maybe we'll have like a little shot of Courtney drinking from her pineapple. <laughs> but this is the gnome. This is the tavern. And don't forget guys to always Tip your bartenders. Peace.